What's going on? I'm Bobby K. I'm a professional landscape designer and installer. Right here I got a before, right here I got a transformation going on. You give me 180 seconds and I'm going to give you three tips that are going to save you a bunch of time, money, and are going to have the neighbors going, who did their landscaping? Boom, we are in the design. We're not going to waste any time here. Pro tip number one has to do with time. What I want you to do is spray paint out what you want your bed's shape to be. The reason I want you to spray paint it out is you may have something in your head and all of a sudden you spray paint it and you're like, oh man, that bed's not big enough or oh wow, that's way too big. You spray paint it out, you get to see it, it's going to help you a lot. Last thing is make sure you get a side cutter to cut all that out. It's about 65 to 85 bucks a day at Home Depot Lowe's. They're super easy to use. They'll cut all that out. They're going to save you a bunch of time. Pro tip number two has to do with the designs. What I want you to do are pick three to five main colors. What I picked in this one is white, pink, and green. It's kind of a pinkish purple. The white is the Yoshino cherry and the dogwood. Another Yoshino cherry over here. We got a triangle going on here. We got some butterfly bushes and the butterfly bushes up here. It's got whites in the middle. On the outskirts, we got that pinkish purple with the lilacs and the impatient flowers on both sides. And then on the middle, we've got the boxwoods and we've got a backdrop of some green grasses going on right here that I think really balance out all of this very well. All these colors work very well together and the boxwoods in particular go very well with a house like this. It brings that formality, but then you got all this softness and color going on in the outskirts. It works. Final pro tip has to do with money. How am I going to save you money with a design like this? That's very easy. Go to the basics. Draw this up and do an overhead sketch placing all the plants because you need to respect your budget. And all of a sudden, if you make these beds too big and you got to fill them with a ton of plants, it's going to cost you way more than you think. You're going to blow your budget. If you start with a simple sketch and start to follow that, I think that you're going to respect that and you're going to be able to stick to your game plan. Overall cost for something like this, if you had a company like mine come in and do all the work, buy all the plants, labor, materials, you're probably around $15,000. This is a pretty large house with a lot of beds, a lot of plants, and then if you wanted to go with landscape lighting, you could probably add on another $3,500, somewhere around there. It just depends on how many you do. All right, I think we got a little bit of time, so I'm going to give you out a quick bonus tip. When you got dead space like this, like this could all be grass and this could all be grass in the front. This is a perfect opportunity to put a little bed in that has the same plants as in your main design. And what this does is creates depth. So instead of this just being lawn and only beds up against the house, you've got it boom out here and out here. It just looks awesome. It's going to make everything pop. So there you go. That's how you make your neighbors jealous if you got a colonial style home. Question of the day is what style home do you have and would you like to see a Bobby K design for that home? Go on to my website. You can upload a photo. I pick two or three a week and I might pick yours and we'll make a YouTube video out of it. If this was your first time here, consider joining the BK crew. You click subscribe, hit the alarm bell, and you're going to be up to date with all the tips and tricks and things I do to save you time, save you money, and help you with your landscaping. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.